Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at Edexcel A-Level Maths Pure Maths Paper 1 Mock Set 4 Question 15. Figure 2 shows a sketch of the curve C1 with the equation y equal arc cos a half x, the curve C2 with the equation y equal arc sin x. So we've got the curve C1 and we've got the curve C2. The curves meet at the point P as shown in figure 2. So the point P is the point of intersection between the curve C1 and the curve C2. Part A show that at P, tan y is equal to 2. Please pause the video, write your solution to part A once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. So we know that at P, the x coordinate of C1 is equal the x coordinate of C2. Let's start off with the curve C1. The equation is y equal arc cos of a half x. I'm going to make x the subject. This implies that y is equal, arc cos is the same as writing cos inverse of a half x. Now, to get rid of the cos inverse, I must apply cos on both sides. So this implies that cos y is equal cos cos inverse of a half x. Now the cos and the cos inverse cancel, reducing the equation to cos y equal a half x. I can multiply by 2. So this gives me 2 cos y is equal x, equation 1. Now let's have a look at curve C2. So curve C2 has equation y equal arc sine x. So what I'm going to do now is make x the subject. This implies that y is equal, arc sine is the same as writing sine inverse. So we've got sine inverse of x. To get rid of the sine inverse, I must apply sine on both sides. So this implies that sine y is equal sine, sine inverse of x. The sine and sine inverse cancel out, reducing the equation to sine y equal x. I can call this equation, equation 2. My next step is to set equation 1 equal to equation 2. So I've got 2 cos y equal sine y. I want to transform this equation into tan y equal 2. So I must introduce a tan in the equation. The way I do this is to divide both sides of the equation by cos y. So I've got 2 cos y over cos y equal sine y over cos y. The cosines cancel out, reducing the equation to 2 equal this part over here becomes tan y. Therefore, at p, tan y is equal to 2 as required. Let's have a look at the next part, which is part b. Hence, or otherwise, find the exact coordinate of P. So the word hence is trying to indicate that we must refer back to our answer in part A. Now pause the video, write your solution to part B. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at part B. Now we know that from part A, the X coordinate of P, which is the point of intersection between C1 and C2, is given by either sine y or 2 cos y. Let's take sine y for simplicity. So x is equal sine y. Now to work out the exact coordinate of x, I need to work out the exact value of sine y. So what I can do is use the fact that tan y is equal to to construct a right angle triangle. So we know that tan is given by opposite over adjacent. So we can rewrite the 2 as 2 over 1. So if we compare, we see that the opposite is 2. And we can see that the adjacent is 1. We can find the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle using Pythagoras theorem. So the hypotenuse is square root 5. So from this triangle, we can see that sine y is given by opposite over hypotenuse. 
So the opposite is 2 over the hypotenuse, which is root 5. So x is equal sine y, hence x is equal 2 over root 5. Therefore, the exact coordinate of x at p is 2 over root 5. This completes question 15 of Pure Mass Paper 1 Mock Set 4. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.